Hi, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to talk you through five things you really need to know to help your discs get healed fast, both at home and at work. Now, before we run through these five things, stay with me just for a moment while I explain to you a little bit about your disc injury. If you take a look at the spine and the side view of the spine, you can see you've got the vertebra, and you've also, too, got the discs between the vertebra. And you can see that when you bend forward, the space opens up at the back. The pressure in the disc actually increases and inside the disc is some fluid. So it's a little bit like squeezing a toothpaste container so that, so that when you squeeze a toothpaste container, the toothpaste moves out. Same as when you bend forward, the pressure in the disc is increased. Now what can actually happen if I turn this around the other side is you can see that the disc material can actually bulge through the little capsule that's, that holds onto it. So, this is important to know because you need to know what you can and can't do to get this area to heal. And one thing that you don't want to be doing a lot of is bending forward too much. So let's go through those five things in addition to bending forward um, that, so that you know what to do and what to avoid at home. So obviously the first thing to do is to stop bending forwards. Every time you bend forward that spongy disc can bold. So try to keep your back straight and either lunge or kneel if you need to get down to ground level. So this isn't forever, it's just while your disc is healing and your physiotherapist will be able to advise you or you'll know when your disc is sufficiently healed to allow you to start bending forward. The second thing to do is to stop sitting or really reduce the amount of time that you're spending sitting. Unfortunately, when you sit, the pressure within your disc actually increases and the lower the chair, the more pressure in the disc. So it's a bit difficult, isn't it? Because what do we need to do during the course of the day? Well, most of us need to sit. Now, there are some ways to get around this. One thing you can do is to sit in a high chair or to hover on a higher stool as opposed to a lower stool. You could also spend some time kneeling and if you're at work uh, on a computer, maybe you can set up a standing station or if you're lucky enough, you might have one of those desks that actually is a standing desk. This, these are really good solutions for people that can't sit during the course of the day. Now, the third thing to do is to start walking as soon as you can. Try to go for short walks throughout the day and keep the, the walking surfaces flat and avoid hills and stairs just so that you're not bending forward. Try to avoid just lying in bed with a disc bulge unless you're on medical orders to do so. And make sure that you're not lying on a soft lounge. That lack of support will make your disc much worse. You need to be on a good supportive surface. My fourth tip is to rest on a firm supportive surface with the pillows underneath your knees. So particularly important if you like resting on your back. What we know is that when you rest on your back and you place pillows underneath your knees, it actually reduces the amount of pressure within the disc, which is fantastic if you want your disc to heal faster. You could also sleep sideways if you're a side sleeper and place a pillow long ways or lengthways between your legs and that will stop your back rotating as you rest. My fifth tip is to start the disc exercises. You can see them linked above and they're also in the notes below. Now these disc exercises are great for helping you ease your lower back pain and also getting you really quickly on the road to recovery. So now you have five ways to heal your back a lot faster. First of all, stop bending forwards. Secondly, limit the amount of sitting time. Third, start walking. And fourth is rest and rest in the positions that are best for your disc. Finally, start off your lumbar disc exercises. So I really hope that these tips help you heal your disc really fast. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.